Welcome back then to episode three of the Real Betis save here on Football Manager. We've played quite a few games since you've been here and we've got some okay form. Let's talk through it. But first of all, let's run the intro. So before we get started, one other signing made before the window shut. Steven Bergwijn comes in. He's a left winger. I think he's a little bit better than Christian Teo. I mean, looking at the even looking at the graph, there's not a lot between them. Two very similar players, but it means that we've got two options there. Bergwijn's been doing well. Bergwijn will probably develop a lot more than Teo will and should get a little bit better. He's come in on loan from Tottenham. Played five games, one goal, one assist. It's not terrible. Looking through the fixtures then, I'm not going to go through every game, but there was a couple of goals that I wanted to pick out. So last time you were with us was the 2-0 win over Osasuna. Straight up after that was Atletico 1-1, and this was the goal that I wanted to pick out. People question the signing of Daniel Sturridge, but look at this. Fakia, great run through the middle, and Daniel Sturridge chips the keeper in off the post. 1-1 away at Atletico. Following on from that, everything seemed to be going our way. 3-0 win at home to Eibar, 2-1 away at Huesca. We did get beat at Valencia, but I don't think we deserved to get beat, realistically. Stats-wise, probably they deserved it. But we did do quite a lot in the game. Diego Lainez coming into that one as well. And after that, it was followed up by two victories at home. 3-0 against Cadiz and 2-0 at home against Hetafe. So we're going to go straight into a game today. One of the big changes has been Diego Lainez coming into the team. We've been playing him a lot more. It means that Joaquin is now sitting on the bench, but his, his stats are already plummeting at the beginning of this season. I just don't know whether he can cope. He's been coming off the bench, and he, he just hasn't really done anything, so Lainez has been the main man for the time being. We'll see how it goes. If we need to change it round, we will do. In terms of the team then, from the back, Livakovic, Emerson, Bartra, Ruiz and Moreno make up the back five. Canales and Castrovilli in the middle. Lainez, Fakia, Steven Bergwijn on the left and Kyle George up front. Quick word on Kyle George. Nine games into the season, six goals, one assist. We couldn't ask for much more. Here we are with the first chance then, Bergwijn down the left. Good tackle there from Fernandez. Sifu will pick it up. Guti in the middle, a new Guti, that's all we need. Fidel, Rigoni, good save from Livakovic. Here's Fernandez. we need to win the ball back and go on a counter, I think. Marconi with the cross, Carrillo, Rigoni. And I tell you what, Elche having the better of it in the first half. Looks like it's going to be another chance, here. Sifu, Marconi. Fidel on the left, good tackle, Emerson. Oh, what's he given? We need VAR to come to the rescue. Yeah, I didn't think there was a foul there. I thought it was a really good tackle. Good to see VAR doing its job, as always. Half time then. I mean, we've had eight shots, six on target, and not one of them has been a highlight. What does that tell you? Right, we haven't made any changes at half time. Let's see how it goes the first 15 minutes. Can we even get a highlight? Here we go. Bergwijn on the left. Where's he going? Finds Emerson. Cross it in. Canales. Emerson. Fakia. Off the bar. It was a good effort, that. Emerson again. What? We still can't do throw ins. Is Victor Ruiz. Canales. Castrovilli. Fakia. Great ball, Lainez. Good save, keeper. Bet he's getting a few more chances now. Here's Romario. On off the bench. Finds Canales. Joaquin Sturridge. Emerson. Joaquin. Oh, he's got the goal. Joaquin with his first goal of the save. And it's a big moment. Betis won. Elche nil. We'll see it again. Canales there. Joaquin Sturridge playing together. Emerson pulls it back brilliantly. Good goal from Joaquin. And there is the whistle. So overall, 
not a bad performance. I mean, we've t so we've had 15 shots, 10 on target, which would say, yeah, we've played well, but I, they must have been long-range shots. We didn't see hardly any of them. Something to think about going forward. But a 1-0 win in the first game of the episode. I'm not going to complain about that. Joaquin coming off the bench to win it for us. Good day at the office. It's time now then to go into the second game of the episode. And this one is up against Real Valladolid. Who are sitting in 20th place. So it should be a nice easy win. Yeah, I don't know. Couple of changes coming into this one then. So Sidney is going to come in at centre-back. He's been moaning that he's not getting any game time. And to be fair... He's very, very similar to Victor Ruiz, so either one of them could play. Romario Barro is going to play in the midfield. Just a chance to give Castrovilli a little bit of a rest since he's come in. He's played absolutely every minute of every game. Just don't want him to get burnt out. And Christian Teo comes in on the left. It's going to be interesting who actually takes that spot as their own, Teo or Bergwijn. Neither one of them are performing as well as I would like them to, so they've both got a little bit of work to do. Valladolid against Betis then, let's get into this one. Let's hope that there's a little bit more action in it as well. Which way is the first chance going to go then? Moreno finds Teo. What can we do here? What can Teo conjure up with that right foot of his? Good ball out to Linez. And Linez with the effort, way wide. I do like the, the fact that he's, he's normally he's cutting in deep, so he plays balls through rather than takes shots. I quite like that. I think that's the difference between an inverted winger and inside forward. Normally he's in this type of position and looking to play balls through, although he's running at the defence at the minute. Like Emerson's cross, Teo, good header down, Teo again. Kyle George, is he onside? I don't think he is. Fakir here with the cross, Kyle George doesn't win the header at the back post, it comes out to Linez though. He's got an absolute wand of a left foot, but he doesn't get a chance to use a great tackle there from Nacho. Here's Jota. Someone stop him. Come on, Alcaraz. Tony Villa. Wow. Absolute belter from the edge of the box. And via the lead, take the lead in this one. We'll see it again. Guardiola there. Rolling back the years is Tony Villa. No one closing him down. He spanked it top corner. Good effort. Oh dear. So we had seven shots in the first half and not one of them hit the target. We're going to have to make a change, I think. We're going to start by going in tacking. That's, def that's for definite. I'll tell you what, if that went in, this would have been a nightmare. Levante have gone above Barcelona as well, by the way, into third place. As much as Barca have got a game in hand. Levante, what a season they're having. Right, can we do something? Roberto's long ball is going to find Moreno. What can he build from here? Great ball to Sturridge. Oh, what a finish. The two former Liverpool men. Wonderful little combination there. And we've got time. 20 minutes left. We'll see it again. Moreno's ball. I don't know how he spots it. It's a wonderful pass to Danny Sturridge. Great finish as well. On off the bench. He'll be happy with that one. Moreno. Can he do it again? Castrovilli is Teo. Moreno again. Can he get his cross in? He can. Fakir. And it's gone in. And Moreno gets two assists in the game. What a player. Never a question mark over whether we signed him or not. Absolutely fantastic. Alberto Moreno. And we've turned the game on its head. Good finish from Fakir as well. Fakir has been absolutely brilliant, by the way, off camera. Can't criticise him at all. And there's the whistle. Betis getting another win. We had to do it the hard way, coming from behind. But Sturridge and Fakir with goals. Both set up by Moreno, who gets man of the match. Not bad. Not bad overall. I'll take that. So let's look to when we're going to meet again. I think we can move this on a little bit. I think Celta Vigo away and Barcelona at home right at the back end of January is a perfect time to meet up. Let's see how far we've come. When we come up against Barcelona after they absolutely smashed us at the new camp, it'll be interesting to see where we're up to. So once again, I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Loads of content coming from Football Manager. 
there's fifa content there on the channel as well if that's something that you're interested in but like i say once again thank you for being here we'll see you next time up the betties <laughs>